Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training. I'm Matthew. In this video, we're going to look at how you would add a Hike Vision uh, DS K1T 680 series uh, facial biometric unit, how you would add that to an ATT or the Vanderbilt 1520 network controller. We're going to look at the setup and configuration and how you'd add a user in the Atwin software. In a previous video, I've already shown you how to set up ActWin and how to add a 1520. The link is above. Let's do the electrical connections first of all. The, um, the 1520 or the 1500 PCB are shown here. The reader connects on this side here and you have power here. The, the power output from this board is only on the reader port. It's only um, 400 milliamps. The device itself needs 1.2 amps to work. So you'd get your power from the main incoming power here. And I would suggest you use a 2 amp power supply or bigger, depending on what your locking requirements are. The um, Wigand connection will be D1 and D0. Um, D1 is white, D0 is green, and you connect them to these two terminals here. These are the only terminals you would need to connect to for the reader input and red and black for your power input. With Act Pro Manage software running, we can add users and we can delete users. But what we have to do first is go to the Hike Vision um, product. We need to go to maintenance and management. Here's our face reader. We just need to do a little bit of uh, maintenance on that first of all, to, to so it communicates with the uh, ACT Pro 1520. So load the configuration window. Then go to access control. So you can de decide how is it going to, what is it going to read? Is it going to be card, face or fingerprint? So you, the, the, there's an open choice there. It could be just card only, fingerprint only, fingerprint and password. You can have quite a few um, options here. In some cases, face readers are fine. In some installations, people don't want their biometric information used um, by a business. So giving them the choice of using the, the, maybe their ID card or the, uh, as opposed to the face or the fingerprint is, is a valid option. So that's an open form. That's the open way of doing it. Um, we need to communicate with the ACT Pro controller. So we would go to the Wigan tab. We need to enable Wigand, and it's an output reader, so the information will be outputted. I'm just going to stick to Wigand 26-bit at the moment. It's a simple open format, but we can change to 34 if we like. Press save. And now the um, when a valid credential is presented to the reader, it will pass it through as Wigan 26-bit. And that way, then, the ACT Pro um, controller, that can decide how to, to give access to the door. So with that, with the Hike Vision aspects now taken care of, we go back into Manage, and now we're ready to use Manage software. And it's a very simple procedure. All we're going to do is add a user. So we're going to add the user. First name is a no, ADI, and I, I'm using the red fob, so I'll just put in red. I have a bunch of fobs, and all different color fobs, I'll just stick to red. Email, and this is where you can put user information if you need to find somebody. Um, user group, I've not created any user group, so we're going to stick with full access. Next is the card. We've got to input the card number. So we can click on this here, and then we're going to read from the door. So that means whichever terminal, whichever door has got the um, biometric reader and the 1520 connected, and which we've designated as door one, that for the moment will be a enrollment reader. So simply read from the door, door one, and we're going to capture the information. So if we press capture, and then I get my red fob, present that to the reader. 
So you heard the, um, in the background there, you heard the device say thank you because it has accepted the card. It's already within IVMS. It's passed that information through on the Wigand to the 1520. It's happy with that information. It sent it over there. And now all we have to do now is press save. And there we have it. The card number is populated. And now we can add um, any extra information we need, the validity when it works and when it finishes, notes, maybe the car registration. And, uh, and there we go. It's all saved in. Next, we press save. Changes were saved. Okay. So now, if I present my card. Thank you. Hopefully you heard two tones there. You would have heard the high vision device saying thank you and you've heard the the, the rising tone um, beep from the 1520 controller to, to acknowledge as a valid read i'll do that again thank you. and there we go access granted we go to the live system just to confirm that And then we go. We've got confirmation that the um, the card had the valid read. Uh, I'm just going to try my yellow fob. Let's see what happens. So when in this instance, when the when in, when a invalid card is presented, it doesn't even make it to the 1520. The um, high vision device filters out that information, so it's not a true. Wigan signal. It's our true Wigan converter. So you you have an extra layer of security there. You can't directly sniff into the fifteen twenty controller to um, to bypass it or to sniff out the authorization code. So again, it's a bit more security added in. And there we go. The simple short procedure for adding a a hike vision face reader to an ACT Pro fifteen twenty from Vanderbilt. Installers rely on ADI. The ADI projects and technical teams offer a pre-configuration service. Any project size from a single device or to a complex system. Any IP device can be configured from our central hub using our technical and project teams. Having your device pre-configured will save engineers time on site. We can set your IP address, the gateways, and in addition, we'll make sure your device has the latest firmware on board. Simply get in touch with your ADI sales contact or email the projects team. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.